I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn what is inverse of tan function. So let me sketch one for you. We know tan has a domain which is all real numbers and the restriction is that it cannot have odd multiples of pi by 2. Since uh, all multiples of pi by 2 gives undefined value for tan function, right? So let me sketch uh, these vertical asymptotes at odd multiples of pi by 2, right? So this is uh, one vertical asymptote. So in this case, what we have here is we have 0. This is minus pi by 2 and that is plus pi by 2, right? So if you sketch a tan function in between this interval, it will look like, let me sketch one. At 0, it is going to have 0, right? And it approaches minus infinity as you approach minus pi by 2. And it approaches plus infinity as you approach plus pi by 2. The value of the function is uh, 1, 1 uh, at pi by 4, right? So at pi by 4, it is 1 and minus 1. Let me write down these values. These are important values for sketching inverse of a function. So, so let's say this is 1 and this is minus 1, right? So these points are invariant points correct for the tan function that is the sketch of y equals to tan x so this is x for us and that is y for us <clears throat> as you see tan function has a period of pi which is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and it kind of repeats right so so if I have to sketch further, it will be kind of like this, all right? So let me just, okay, this is not, anyway, this is kind of like this. Now, if you are looking for inverse, in that case, the horizontal line test is very important. So if I draw a horizontal line here, it intersects at multiple points and that ensures that the inverse will not be a function, correct? To ensure that inverse is a function, we have to restrict domain. So we need to restrict domain to ensure inverse to be a function, right? So. In case of tan x, what should be the domain? In case of tan x, we will restrict the domain x. So when we are looking for y equals to tan x, we could re restrict this domain from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Right? The function itself is not defined at minus and plus pi by 2. So it is between these two values. So that is the function which we'll be working with. And we are sure that inverse of this function, which uh, let me highlight here, which is, which we're talking about as this portion. Is a function, right? So inverse of this portion, which is restricted, is a function, correct? Now, how to find inverse of this? So to find inverse, we have learned two methods. One is swap x and y. That is one method. So if I do that, what do I get? I get x equals to tan y. Now that is inverse. So when I write x equals to 10y, when I swap this, then we are talking about the inverse function, right? So swap x and y, 
and then write the function what y is equals to right so now from here we can write y equals to tan inverse of x or f inverse of x is equals to tan inverse of x is it okay so that is one way of finding inverse so you just swap and then write it down right so so that is how you can write y equals to tan inverse of x or you could write x equals to tan y both are inverse functions and both mean the same thing right now when we write it in the form x equals to tan y we call this as the implicit form so this is implicit form And when we write in this form, y is what? Then, then we call this as explicit form. Right? But both represent the inverse of a function. Now let me also share with you how to sketch this function. Right? So I'll kind of draw another scale to sketch it and we'll move from here. Uh, okay. This is not an extension of previous, but I'm just using this space. Now, when you're drawing the inverse, we know x and y coordinates flip. So let's take a few points on this. So what we know here is that at x equals to 0, y is 0. So this point 0, 0 is there. So 0, 0 remains at 0, 0. So what we are drawing here now is the inverse function. So we are drawing f inverse of x that is what we are drawing so this coordinate which is 0 0 is 0 0 now here we have pi by 4 so we have pi by 4 1 so this coordinate is pi by 4 1 now in the scale right here pi by 4 1 will actually change to 1 pi by 4, correct? It would be 1 pi by 4, right? So, so this point will be 1. So if it is 1 here, then pi by 4. So 1 pi by 4. So this point will come here, okay? Now, similarly, we'll have a point minus 1. This is minus pi by 4 giving us minus 1 so when you swap this you get minus 1 pi by 4 correct so likewise you get a point here right now as you approach in pi by 2 the function approaches infinity that is to say that we'll have a horizontal asymptote for pi by 2 correct so for pi by 2 there is going to be a horizontal asymptote right so we can draw this horizontal asymptote with a horizontal line similarly there is a horizontal asymptote at minus pi by 2 and that will result into the inverse function for tan so this graph will be kind of like this so I mean let's go through these points okay so nearly nearly like this where the horizontal asymptotes will be at pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 correct so that is how the inverse will look like correct if you have to draw on kind of same scale what you could do is you could draw a line y equals to x right so so if you draw that line and then flip it you could actually get the function which will look like this now in this particular function what do you observe that here the x value is from minus infinity to plus infinity right and the y value is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 correct 
So that becomes its domain and range. Do you see that? So x value could be anything minus infinity to plus infinity and the y value is between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Correct? So that becomes the domain and range for inverse function which is tan x. Right? So I hope uh, you understand what we're trying to trying to do tan inverse x right this is tan inverse x okay so that is how this is this point is minus one this is one this is pi by four i'm sorry i'm sorry this is pi by four this is minus pi by four right and this point is one this is minus one correct so so I hope with this, you get an idea of how to sketch a trigonometric inverse function for tan, right? And this also summarizes a bit on the two terms which might be used sometimes in your test paper. So when we talk about implicit form, we just interchange x and y, and x equals to tan y gives you an equation in implicit form. And if you want to write explicitly what y is equal to, that becomes the explicit form, right? So tan inverse, as you have learned here, has a restricted domain, and the restricted domain is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 for the tan function, right? For the tan function. Only when we restrict the domain of the tan function, its inverse will be a function. Otherwise, its inverse will not be a function. And the domain and range for the function is that domain is all real numbers. However, the range is between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.